everyone. So today I want to teach you guys about a method of factoring called the tic-tac-toe method. Sometimes for simple polynomials it isn't necessary, but whenever you have a coefficient in front of your x squared term, I find this to be really helpful. So let me give you an example problem and walk you through it and show you how to, how to use this method. So let's say you have the function 20 x squared plus 124x plus 24, and you're asked to factor that. So again, see you have this number here in front of the x squared, so that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to factor. So the first step to factoring is always to take out any common terms. So in this case, I notice that all of the numbers are even, first of all, so I definitely know that they're divisible by 2, but if you think about it a little bit more, you're going to realize that they're also divisible by 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out that 4, and so I'm going to factor it out of each one of these terms. So I'm going to get 4 times 5x squared plus 31x plus 6. So now what we have in these parentheses here, it still looks a little messy, but it looks a little bit more manageable than what we started with. So now I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to use the tic-tac-toe method. So you go ahead and make your little tic-tac-toe squares like this. And then I like to put a box down here. You don't have to. Um, I like to, and I'll tell you why in a second. But from here, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your a term so this 5x squared term in this box. So you're going to put 5x squared here. You're going to put your c term, which is, so this is a, this is b, and this is c. So you're going to put your c term here. And then you're going to multiply these, and you're going to put the resulting a times c in this box. So that's going to be 30x squared. I'm going to go ahead and label these. So again, this was A, this was C, and this is A times C. Oops. A. Okay, hopefully you can read that. So now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to find two numbers here that multiply to equal 30x squared and add up to equal our B term here, this 31x. So thinking of the factors of 30, we have 30 times 1, 15 times 2, 10 times 3, and I believe, oh, and then 5 times 6. But other than that, that's it. So, but looking at this 31x, we know that we're going to have to choose these here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a 30x here and a 1x here. And then this box here is just to show that they add up to 31x. So again, this box isn't really necessary, but sometimes it's helpful. Usually I fill it in first, just so that I remember what I'm supposed to um, be adding up to equal. So again, if you notice going this way, these terms multiply to equal 30x squared, and going this way, they multiply to equal 30, 30x squared. So now we're going to have to put numbers in this box and this box to equal 30x. So since this is a 5x, I'm or I'm sorry, 5x squared, I'm going to go ahead and put a 5x here, and then I'm going to put a 6 here. And that's because they're also, these boxes are also going to multiply up and down. So here we have to have factors of 5x squared, so I'm going to have a 5x and then a 1x, and then here, I'm going to need factors of 6. So in this case, it's going to be 6 times 1. And then we notice they also multiply going across. So 5x times 6 is 30x, and then 1x times 1 is 1x. So again, just to recap, basically we want to fill out this tic-tac-toe table by making sure that everything multiplies up and down and left to right. So now what I want to do is I've actually factored this problem, and you want to circle these terms diagonally, and then those are going to be your two factors. So the first one I'm going to have is 5x plus 1, and then the second one I'm going to have is x plus 6. 
Now, the only thing I have to remember in this case is I can't forget about this four out front. So my resulting answer is gonna be four times five X plus one times X plus six. And I will go ahead and, and foil this out just so you guys believe that this is correct. Um, so foiling, we have five X times X, which gives us five X squared. On our outside terms, we have five X times six, which is 30 X. Inside terms is one times X, which is X. Out times term, sorry, outside terms, one times six, which is six. And then simplifying that, we're gonna get five X squared plus 31 X plus six. We're gonna multiply all of this by four. It should also be by four, and we're gonna get 20 X squared plus 124 X plus 24. So hopefully this example was helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more problem just so that you really understand how to use the tic-tac-toe method. So let me clear out my screen. Okay, so the next problem I'm going to do is going to be 6r squared minus 7r minus 5 equals 0. So this question is slightly different just because this one is set equal to 0 and it wants you to solve. However, in order to solve this, you are going to have to factor it out just like we did before and then set both of the resulting terms equal to 0. So let me show you what I mean by that. So in this case, the first thing I'm gonna do is check for common factors, but in this case, there are no common factors, so we can go ahead and jump right into the tic-tac-toe method. So let me make my table. I'm going to put my A term here, which is 6R squared, my C term here in the middle, which is minus five, and then I'm gonna multiply those to get this negative 30R squared. Now, these are going to have to add up to equal negative 7r. So again, the factors of 30 are 30 times 1, 15 times 2, 10 times 3, and 5 times 6. Now notice there is a negative sign, so one of these um, is going to have to be negative, but I just didn't write the negative in because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to be negative yet. So now I need to look for two numbers with a difference of seven. So the one that jumps out to me is this 10 and three here. So since I need it to be a negative seven, that means I'm gonna to wanna to have a negative 10 and a positive three. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my negative 10 R here, and I'm gonna put my plus three R there. So again, they multiply upward to equal negative 30 R squared, and they add up to equal this negative seven R. So now all I have to do is fill in these boxes here and just make sure that they multiply in both directions. So for this negative 10R, I'm gonna need to have a factor of five and two because our other option is 10 and one, but that wouldn't work. Um, so I know my five is gonna have to go in this box because five isn't a factor of six, and I know that my two is gonna have to go in this box because two is a factor of six. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a negative five here, and then I'm gonna put my two R here. So now what I'm left with is a three R in this box, because three R times two R equals six R squared. And then here I'm just left with a one, because again, negative five times one is negative five, three times one is three R. So I have a lot of experience doing this and sometimes it might be a little bit hard to figure out which numbers go in which boxes, but it's just important to always make sure that they're a factor of these numbers up here and everything multiplies up and down and left to right. So it might take you some practice. You might you know, put some numbers in the wrong boxes at first, but that's okay. With practice, it'll get a little bit easier. So again, now I have my factors. So I'm gonna circle these and these and then my resulting, or sorry, my resulting factors are going to be 2r plus one times 3r minus five. And these are going to be equal to zero. So now, since we want to solve in this case, we are gonna set each factor equal to zero. So we're gonna set 2r plus one equal to zero, and we're gonna set 3r minus five equal to zero. And we do that, because anytime two things are multiplied together, if one of them equals zero, the entire thing equals zero. If we have um, x times y, for example, 
if x is zero, the entire thing is gonna be zero. If y is zero, the entire thing is gonna be zero. So that's why we do this step here. So solving for r here, we get two r equals negative one and r equals negative one half. Or here we have three r equals five. So r equals five over three. So going from there, we have two separate answers and we can say that the answer is r equals negative one half or five over three. And this here is our answer. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, just to recap, you wanna start out by factoring out any common terms. Then you wanna use the tic-tac-toe method. So you wanna put your A term here, your C term here, and your A times C term here. Then you wanna pick these ones here and you wanna make sure that they add up to equal your B term. And then you need to make sure that these multiply across and also up and down. All right, well, thank you for watching and I hope that was helpful.